Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download, install and configure Postgres SQL latest version that is 16 on Windows operating system. Go to Postgres SQL official website that is postgresql.org. Hit enter. This is the official website for Postgres SQL. Also see here the message Postgres SQL 16 release on 14 September 2023. Click on download. Then select the windows. Then we have to click on this download installer. See, we have the PostgreSQL version operating system types. Okay, you can download from 9.3 to 16. This is, this is the latest version. So we have to click on this download button. Once we click on download button, it automatically starts downloading. If it won't starts downloading, then you have to click on this click here. In my case, it has started downloading. Go to downloads. See, I have already downloaded the PostgreSQL 16. So I'm canceling this one. In your case, wait until PostgreSQL 16 download completes. Now click on this PostgreSQL Windows.exe file. You receive user account control pop up, click on S. See, this is the setup wizard. So, click on next, and this is the installation directory. If you want to change, you can click on this browse button, then provide the path, then click on next. So now we have to select the components. First one is Postgres SQL Server. It is the default. We have to select PG Admin 4. If you want to install PG Admin 4, you have to select Stack Builder. Stack Builder is used to download and install additional tools like PostGIS and other tools. Command line tools. It is going to install PG Dump, PG Base Backup, PG Restore, PG bench and other tools. Select all these check boxes and click on next. This is the data directory. If you want to change, you can change. Otherwise, click on next. Provide the password for Postgres. Also, this is the super user. You have to remember this password. And the username is Postgres. Click on next. See, here we have to provide the port number. The default port number is 5432. Provide the port number as 5432. But in my case, I have given 5434 because I have other versions installed. So give 5432. Then click on next. Select the local settings. I am going with the defaults. Then click on next. See, this is the pre installation summary like installation directory, server installation directory, data directory, port number database super user and other tools information click on next click on install See, we have successfully installed Postgres SQL 16 version on Windows. If you want to launch Stack Builder, you have to check this checkbox. Otherwise, uncheck it. But keep the checkbox as it is and click on Finish. Then it will launch the Stack Builder installation setup wizard. Select the database from the drop down and click on Next. It is going to download applications. See, here we can select the applications. Suppose if you want to install Postgres. Post yes, then you have to click on next. The same way database servers 
you want to install any one of them how to select because but it is already installed so click on web development you want to install pem http or anything you have to select and you have to click on next then you have to click on install wait it is going to connect to a server and it will download and install see so it is trying to connect to the server successfully downloaded click on next select this i agree click on next then click on next see you have successfully installed postgres click on close click on finish so we have successfully installed postgres sql and postgres package now click on start then all applications then postgres sql see see we have the postgres sql folder click on it expand this one then click on this PSQ also. Server name that is localhost. Database also Postgres, which is the default database, comes with Postgres SQL installation. Hit enter, port is same. Then provide the password which we have given at the time of installation. See, we have successfully connected to Postgres SQL. Let's verify the version. Select version. See, we have installed Postgres SQL 16 on Windows. Now connect this Postgres SQL from the PG admin. PG admin. Wait until this PG admin application opens. This is the password for PG admin, not for the database. Right click on servers, right click on servers, then select register and click on server. Server, then provide name as Postgres SQL 16. Name can be anything, but in connection, you have to provide the host name or IP address. So I am giving local host. Then we have to provide port number. But you guys have to give the same port. Again, I am telling give the port number as whatever you have given at the time of installation. The default port is 5432. So it gives 5432. Okay. This is the database. This is the username. Then provide the password for this user. Click on save. Expand databases. See, I don't have any databases. This is the default database. Right click on query to run select version to verify the version of process equal. Select the command and click on this run button or press F5 from your keyboard. Let me see, we got the same output as. Here, okay. Let me create a database. Just right click on databases, then select create and select database. I am giving database name and Arcus. And this is the owner definition. If you want to provide template or table space information, you have to provide. If you want to grant privileges, you have to click on these labels. At present, I am not going to grant anything. This is a script. You can simply copy the script and execute just click on save it is successfully created right click on you can refresh see we have database created we can verify from here also by running the command slash l see new database is created we can also create database from here also create create database and database here i am giving database name test one two three put the semicolon and hit enter See, create database is success. You can verify again by going to PG admin, right click on refresh. See, new database is created successfully. Let's see, let's see how to start, stop, and restart process SQL service on Windows. Go to services.msc. See, we have the process SQL service. It is running. Forgot about these two. I have the older version also. If you want to restart, right click and click on restart. If you want to stop, you have to click on stop. Or select the service. If you want to restart, you have to click on this button. If you want to pass, you have to click on. If you want to stop, you have to click on this one. In the same way, you can click these hyperlinks. 
So in this video, we have seen how to download, install, and configure OSI SQL 16 version on Windows operating system. The process is same for Windows 10, Windows 11, or Windows servers. For more OSI SQL server videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.